The battle between Ahura Mazda and Angra Manu will continue for thousands of years, but eventually a savior or ah, No way! They have their own Mahdi? They have their own end of time savior? Messianic complex? Is that called the Messianic complex? Is that what it's called? Yes! This is every, every, god damn it. Wait, does Hinduism have this? Does Hinduism have a messiah that they're waiting for to come and save them from everything? This is like the superhero kind of, like, yeah, all our problems one day solve if when this person will show up and save everything and everything will be great and all bad things will stop. Why is it every religion has it? And they're like, ah, our religion is unique. Guys, they have their own Messiah that they're waiting for. They're Mahdi, their Messiah. Shias are waiting for it. Sunnis are waiting for it. Christians are waiting for it. The Jews are waiting for that. And now the Russians are waiting for that as well. Do you guys, do Hindus have that as well? Hinduisms have Kalki? Oh yeah, you guys. Yes, Hindu Hindu Messiah is Kal Kalki. Oh yeah, yeah. Kalki is the tenth avatar of Vishnu who will come towards the end of Kali Yuga. Oh wow, a lot of you are mentioning Ka uh, Kalki. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I don't know if it would have been a superpower, but okay. Just because, yeah. Just because you meet something. Okay, anecdotal evidence, Doc 678, but okay. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's mentioning Kalki. So many people are mentioning Kalki in Hinduism. So every, every religion has this Mehdi or Messiah they're waiting for. Interesting. Will be born to a virgin mother who is born to a virgin mother. There must, guys, the Zoroastrians Messiah that they're waiting for is born to a virgin mother. This is so original. I've not heard this story ever before. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what? I mean, technically, it is original a little bit because it was behind before Abrahamic religions, but okay. Continue for thousands of years. Why is it so? Why are these stories so similar? Is it just that because they work so well? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, this savior from a virgin mother thing is common in many religions, actually. Okay, but. Here's an interesting thing, okay? Sometimes that's because they copy from each other, but sometimes they don't, and they end up being similar because that archetype, that story, that narrative just works so well that it ends up becoming popular whenever it happens. So we don't, I don't like just because sometimes the stories are similar, that doesn't mean they copied from each other. Like, for example, think about this like. In evolution, right? The the I was independently came into being. I think four times, four or three times, not like you know the I, right? Not you know some animals have the I without actually being. The, the the structure of an eye being there because they evolved from other creatures, animals that had an eye. The idea of an eye is so useful that even though independently it was, it came to be uh, through evolution four separate times, right? Because of the usefulness of the structure. It just happens that it will, if you just let things go, an eye will eventually come right so some of these stories are just so useful some of them are copies like for example if i have an eye and a fish has an eye my eye came from fishes at some point because i am the descendant of fishes right but then if you look at i don't know maybe like a i don't know who else has eye that didn't come oh yeah like a like a fly right 
Like a fly has eyes too, but a fly's eyes. No, wait. It, no, yeah. A fly's eye didn't come from fishes, right? So independently, you get eyes. So again, the story of like virgin birth was like, what did the Christians copy from this? Uh, from the Russianism, or was it created independently just because it just resonates with people so well? Uh, Katie's saying, I guess because, yeah, I guess because the mother is virgin, it means she is purer than most other women, and hence the Messiah is also pure in a way. I just guess, yeah, I mean, it's really disgusting that this modesty is being promoted, like this modesty culture is being pro promoted. The whole idea of virgin birth being holy is, be is, it's man's way of saying that a woman that hasn't had sex is purer than a woman that had sex so this whole this whole this is all bs you know this is all disgusting vile like every time you say born from a virgin just know that that's sex shaming woman and promoting modesty culture okay but eventually a savior or so shant will be born to a virgin mother who will lead people against the forces of evil and bring about the end times the earth yay everybody and everybody lived happily ever after it will be swallowed by fire molten metal will cover everything the good people will pass through this molten river or oh, no. the bad people will burn and be pure oh no sorry not everybody just the good people the gates of hell will open the souls of the damned will be released and redeemed and everyone will live together in eternal bliss honestly it all sounds pretty metal. Angra Manu finally defeated by Ahura Mazda and humanity's good thoughts, words and deeds will be tossed back into the black abyss they crawled out of and defeated for- Govtarnik, Pedernik, Kedernik. Good thoughts, good words and good actions. It's very easy to sound like a good religion when you don't define what these means. Like the ancient Greeks, we're talking about ethics in much more complicated and nuanced ways than any religion ever did. Forever. This last judgment slash apocalypse is called the Frasho Karidi. Frasho Karidi? I've never heard this one before. Hold on. This last judgment slash apocalypse is called the Frasho Karidi, meaning renewal. As this is like very similar to the end of times in, in the Bible and the Quran and in, yeah. So it's called Qiyamat in Islam. It's what is it called? In Judgment Day in Christianity. Very similar. In the renewal of Ahura Mazda's originally perfect creation. 